to access free topic sheets, worksheets, or to book an online class, visit ilearneasy.co.uk. Heart. The heart is a vital organ providing blood to the body. It's part of the circulatory system made up of the heart, blood vessels, and the blood. Humans have a double circulatory system. In the first circuit, deoxygenated blood is pumped to the lungs to be oxygenated and then returns to the heart. In the second circuit, oxygenated blood is pumped around the body by the heart and blood vessels. The heart is located in the rib cage near the lungs. The heart continuously pumps in a consistent rhythm. Electrical impulses in the heart ensure it beats with a constant rhythm and rate. The heart rate can increase or decrease depending on how much blood the body requires. For example, when you're exercising, the heart beats faster in order to pump more blood around the body, whereas when you're resting, the heart beats slower. The heart has four chambers. The small upper chambers are called atria and the lower chambers are called ventricles. So here, right atrium, left atrium, right ventricle, left ventricle. The heart also has four valves. These are like little doors which only open one way. This ensures that the blood is flowing in the right direction and doesn't flow backwards. Tricuspid and pulmonary valve are on the right. The mitral and aortic valves are on the left. It's important to remember that veins carry blood to the heart and arteries carry blood away from the heart. The superior and inferior vena cava are large veins that deliver deoxygenated blood into the heart. The superior vena cava delivers blood into the heart from the superior part of the body. This includes the head, neck, arms and chest. The inferior vena cava delivers blood into the heart from inferior parts of the body. This includes organs in the abdomen, legs, feet, etc. The pulmonary vein carries oxygenated blood from the lungs to the heart. The aorta is the main artery that carries oxygenated blood away from the heart to the rest of the body. The pulmonary artery carries deoxygenated blood from the heart to the lungs. Now let's go through the full process. Deoxygenated blood from the body flows into the right atrium via the superior and inferior vena cava. The right atrium contracts and the blood flows through the tricuspid valve into the right ventricle. The ventricle contracts and the blood flows up through the pulmonary valve into the pulmonary artery. This is then taken out of the heart into the lungs. At the same time, the oxygenated blood from the lungs enters the heart through the left atrium via the pulmonary veins. The left atrium contracts and blood then flows through the mitral valve into the left ventricle. The left ventricle contracts and oxygenated blood flows up through the aortic valve into the aorta. This blood is then sent around the body via arteries. Remember, in one heartbeat, blood enters and exits the heart from both sides. Diastole is when the heart relaxes and fills with blood. Both the right and left atrium fill with blood. Systole 
is when the heart contracts and pumps blood. Both the right and left ventricles pump blood into the arteries. This process then repeats. The heart itself also needs a constant supply of oxygenated blood to function. The coronary arteries that branch off the aorta supply this. These are wrapped around the outside of the heart. Here is a diagram illustrating diastole. The heart is relaxed and the heart fills with blood. As you can see, the heart receives blood through the veins into both atria. Following atrial systole, the blood is pushed into the ventricles. Ventricular systole occurs in which the blood is pushed into the arteries and out of the heart.